What up, players? It's War Master Tay up in this mud. Thank you, Burial Surge, for the idea to call myself that while I'm doing these um, chaos space marines. War Master after War Master Horus. So, <clears throat> I've got my two squads completely built up. We're gonna take a little tour through them now. There's some things that I changed, some things that I added. Uh, here's number one, Melted Gun. Let's get a little bit there's him, he's got a knife there, bolt pistol, I believe, yep, on this side, and melted gun. Um, <laughs> I used a loyalist one, he just picked it up off the ground after he was done smashing some blood angels in. So he's using that until he can get it all spiky and chaosified. Uh, and you've seen my general before, or uh, my, my terminator lord before, so I'm not going to show him again. Here's my guy aiming down the barrel. Numero two. Love to make all of them look different. Here's number three, using uh, the head of a tank chaos tank turret, I guess. Um, first, I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll make this look like the, um, you know, like a melted gun just put it on a bolter and make it look like a melted gun cut off the bolter parts but it just required too much conversion just because of the the differences so I decided not to like you need the melted tank and the wire so I was like ah, oh, it's just too hard so all the guys with the bolters you see with the little bayonet knives on the end are gonna be in the back it's the guys with the close combat weapons and the bolt pistols out that are running forward to assault the enemy position this guy's got a little chain from the Chaos Terminator Lord screw hanging off his shoulder like he just whipped up his gun. Like, <laughs> like he's in the process of whipping it up and the chain is following the inertia. Which you can kind of see also with the um, with the clip of his bolter. The bolter bullets. Bolter rounds. Pretty cool. This guy I haven't really changed much of with the zombie heads hanging down the side. Oh, look at that mold line. Gotta fix that before I start painting him up. I think if I ever want to do an Ar Iron Warriors, or if you guys want to do Iron Warriors, these chainmail tabards are really great. There's the next one running forward. Tried to cover up his possessed legs. So yeah, I decided to use all the possessed legs. Some of them are green stuff. Some of them I just tried to cover with these packs, and then I'll green stuff, whatever, is still showing that is obviously mutations that I cannot um, really deal with. I also had a fluffy way of dealing with them though, <clears throat> which is that um, some of these guys could be like, could have had their legs blown off. Like they're still, their upper body is still um, able to go into battle and they still have control of their arms. And it's just like maybe their legs around their knees have been like blown off in an explosion or an exploding rhino or uh, something like that. So the, the tech, guy who's in the novels. I don't remember the name of him right off the top of my head. What's the name of the tech guy? The guy who does all the Mechanicum stuff for them, the dark Mechanicum stuff. Uh, built them like armor for their lower bodies that is kind of that they can use that looks more terrifying. So they look like they're being possessed by demons or that their armor is all cracked and caked open with all this ornamentation on it. But it's really just um, the way that they are, the way that their new armor is built. Here's a guy, you've seen him yesterday, running forward with the, the dual wielding, pew, 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 pew. really cool action pose. This has got to be one of my favorites. Vote for your favorite. Actually, not yet. Vote for your favorite once they're all painted. Here's another guy from the assault squad with a terrifying mask. I think because this guy looks like his thing is actually mutating to his face, I might um, I might trim off the things that make it look like a helmet and then have him painted so that he was like just severely, badly, terribly, horribly burned and then just has like the, this front part like grafted and welded on to inspire terror in his uh, victims. Okay, here's another conversion I want to show you. And I tried to liquid green stuff all the possessed parts because they're just really obnoxious. So this was the one that had like the um, the maw 
and the left leg had like an open toothy mouth, kind of like this one you see on the right leg side. I'm gonna green stuff over that as well. Um, but this was before I had the idea that, oh yeah, they could be like, have had their legs blown off and now are running around in robot armor. He's also uh, ghetto-wielding this little Melta. Um, I got this because it's an extra bit off of the Death Company sprue. And um, it's great to symbolize the Melta gun, I think. And I've got the close combat weapon symbolized by the chain sword on the end of the bolter and then the bolter. And then he's got his bolt pistol tucked away. So as you can see, I'm trying to really be as WYSIWYG as I can. And uh, I think I'm doing pretty good. I also tried to make it look like it would naturally be if he was running forward. So like his left arm is forward as his right leg is going forward, you know, opposite balancing out which side of your arm moves with which leg. And the, um, and he's just running forward like that and then bringing up the melt to pop a cap. Pew, pew. Put them on blast. All right, here's the next guy. I don't know if I had built this guy up since yesterday. He's another Melta gun. He's got a Chaosy Melta. Some skulls in his helmet. Because we love skulls. This is another guy that would be good for Iron Warriors because of the grill of his mask. Looks very, um, like you could paint that up in silver. And set it off from the rest. You've seen this guy before. Another guy in the assault squad running forward. They're not even assault squads. They're, um, you know, they're, they run under the same rules, but I'm just calling them the assault squad. Like, we'll call them terror squad. Terror squads are the guys that run forward with the bolt pistol and the chain sword. Run forward, so terror, uh, terrify the enemy. And then um, the other guys kind of stay back and do the methodical blasting with the bolters. This guy staying in the back, clinically picking off targets with their bolters, letting their brothers go in for the hunt. Okay, and we'll get back to the champions here. The reason I'm showing all of these guys is because um, I kind of want to move on now that my two squads are built up. And I want to move on to the uh, vehicles, possibly. So maybe we'll do an unboxing of the Rhino tomorrow. Or, uh, Maybe we'll do something else fun. Here's this guy, I haven't really changed him. I did add the tabard to sh uh, signify that he's an aspiring champion. From And this was from the Chaos Terminator Lord sprue. If you remember, it's the Magician's tabard, and or the Sorcerer's tabard, and um, it was too long, so I had to, because the Terminator legs are much longer than a regular Space Marine legs, Chaos Space Marine, so I had to trim it off at the bottom, but I'm, I'm really happy with what I did. A lot of these guys, You'll see in these last two are kit bashed with a whole bunch of other stuff. So, like here's another tabard from the Chaos Terminator Lord. Oops, it's holding an icon of Chaos Undivided. Again, they're just using these icons because they know that the Empire is terrified of them and not because they actually worship Chaos. I think that's hilarious that they're just like killers and murderers and just hardened criminals and they use. The, the terror of the uh, Imperium's fanaticism against them. And now let me show you the one that I've been working on all night for. If you've been reading the books, especially the, the second and the third one in the Night Lords series, you'll know that Octavia has a bunch of little servants. Like in book number two, she had this little servant named Hound, which was like her own little Igor named Hound, and it would kind of follow her around. But they're like tiny little subhuman like um little guys and now she's surrounded by a bunch of them they all like consider her their mistress and um so i thought wouldn't it be funny if or cool if the um, military wing if, if the first claw or second claw third claw said hey we need something terrifying let's get one of these little creatures and mount them on an icon of chaos glory in an imperial guardsman's outfit and let me show you what i came up with this guy, who's also had his legs blown off or under the knee. I don't even want to say blown off, but just like he's, he's not able to, to use regular suits of armor anymore, so... Because um, I want to be sensitive to, you know, uh, veterans who might have, know somebody or have experienced something terrible like this before. But, you know, this is just a game, so I, I'm kind of approaching it at it from, like, why, how can I use these legs without actually um, running 
possessed. So these guys, um, this is one of the suits of armor where the guy just is exists above the waist, and so the um, I don't even know what you would call them because he's not a tech priest. He's not a uh, um, engine seer because um, he's chaos. But the dark, the dark mechanicus guy um, took some old suits of armor. Uh, chaos armor and, and sculpted these like reverse goat legs to make him look more bestial. Uh, I took some chaos fantasy bits and um, some spikes made in eight-sided star. So this guy is really into terrifying his enemies. He's definitely going to go into assault squad, the uh, terror squad in the front. But um, he's still human. He's just um, he's got no mutations. I'm trying to keep the fluff that the gene seed of the Night Lords in my army are completely pure, no mutations, even though they're trying to make it seem like they're totally corrupted and mutated. I also chose this guy because he's got the little star there, but he's got one of Octavia's little helpers all dressed up, and he's also only existent above the waist and hanging on the top of the standard, moaning and pointing forward at their enemies like, you. You will be next to run away, fear the night lords. So, tell me what you think of this. It is pretty cool. Let's see if I can uh, zoom out a little bit so you can get him in all of his awesomeness. So there is my, oops, there is my squad, my two squads of guys. I hope you like them. Let me know what you think. Um, and don't forget. Um, simply painted miniatures. If you want Night Lords, make sure you mention this video for a discount through the month of June. Any Raptor squad, 10% off. Awesome deal. So, um, hey, speaking of Raptors, maybe we'll do them next. I don't know. You never know. You! I mean you! Alright, it's late. Latest players.